Hi guys, Hugh here from Tantosodic.co.uk. Um, gonna be playing some games today. Uh, I'm gonna be playing a Dolo the Mighty deck. Uh, that's Mountain, and I'm here with my friend Jack. Jack, what are you playing today? Uh, I'll be playing a, an Astral Storm deck with Vela. Okay, that sounds really cool. Um, so we're just doing some uh, testing of mainly Jack's deck. We're gonna be doing a best of three, so this is gonna be a slightly longer video than normal. Um, Let's get to it. Jack, would you like to go first or second? Uh, I'll go first. I might as well start testing for it. Okay. Yeah, word of warning, this is going to be an awful matchup for me, which is why we're testing it. So, let's see how it turns out. And uh, the answer is just about as good as you'd expect. Pass for two for my first, uh, first turn. There you go. <laughs> okay, I'll put the life counters in. You start on thir uh, 29. I'm on 29, you're 31, right? Okay. Do you know what? I quite fancy joining you on 29. Cool. So I'm gonna draw two for that. Oh, Spice Machine. Paprika tap. Oh, most certainly. <laughs> um, um, let's get the ball rolling by laying down a new prison cannon. Okay. I will also get the ball rolling by drawing two cards. That isn't getting the ball rolling, Jack. What? What are you talking about? No way. Okay, so my prism cannon rotates. Yep. Getting this ball ready to roll. I'm going to be paying a uh, Magma Spitter, uh -huh. and a Flame Bat, that's two Flame. Do you know what cards come in? Inferno. Indeed it is. I'm going to wow. shuffle these ones back in. Cool. It's uh, ten, isn't it? Ten damage from Inferno. Uh, show it to me. There he is. Hello, mate. There we go. Shuffled those back in, he goes in the yep. discard pile, and I draw for playing the combo. Cool. Um, let's go with a Chim Chim Militant for 5 damage to yourself. Yeah, I'm on 19. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, put me in 24. And Solar on top, <coughs> give me 7 from Dusk Feeder, put me back to 26. Nice play. Uh, Spirit, uh, Prism Cannon is going to rotate. And what are we gonna do here? I will tell over two. And then just draw another. Okay. Oh dear. Uh, dropping cards. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure if that fell off my hand or the top of my deck. I think that was the top of my deck. It's alright. I'll shuffle it back in. Cheat, it's fine. It doesn't bother no, me. no, I'll shuffle, <laughs> shuffle them back in. Uh, I will remove your prism cannon. Okey doke. My pathfinder. And subsequently, I'll play mirror beast. Uh, do the three damage to you. Um, and because my last discard is gravity, it comes back to my hand instead of going to the discard. Cool. You, you take another three for me, boy. Uh, that's you. Yeah, One, that's two, you. three. Perfect. Dodo for two. I throw down a boulder feast for six healing. I'll have a Mirror Beast for 3 damage. Okay. Uh, again, Gravity is still on top, so it comes back to my hand instead of being discarded, and I'll draw a card. Hmm. Tell you what, the card draw I'm getting is not what I'm after, so I'm going to have to dolo again. It's okay. Do as much damage to yourself as you like.
We'll follow that up again with another bowl of feast. Two down. Risk is real. Uh, right then, let's have a mirror beast for three damage. Love it. Comes back to my hand, and I'll draw a card. Okay. I'm going to play down a Colossi Ritual site mm -hmm. and a Flame Bat, okay. uh, which is a which is an attack. Yeah. Yep, that's fine. But One, 19, two, three, four, five. Uh, Twenty-one. Sorry, I can't count. Okay. Uh, sorry, I'm running over my options at this point. No worries. Uh, I'd like to I'm gonna just pathfinder your class of ritual site. Okay. That's probably quite a wise move. Hmm. We'll see about that. Play down a prism cannon and I'll draw. Okay. I'll have a uh, Violet Effect to deal two damage to you because the last discard is a gravity card. Then I'll play uh, You Can't Attack Tish to heal me for four. Because uh, the last discard's gravity, I'll get an additional action. And then I will play a Mirror Beast for three damage, uh, which goes to my discard. Okay. Um... Take your cannon. Yeah, cannon rotates. What's your hand size? Uh, five. Okay. So I'm going to be playing Wrath of the Mountain, mm -hmm. paying for it with Crystal Bat for Crystal, Crystal Leech for Crystal, Flame Bat for Fire, and Rock Rager for Earth. Okay, it's 12 and I'll lose two action cards, is it? Uh, yes, that is the case. Uh, action cards I'm losing are Mirror Beast and Mario Bard. Okay. And I draw for playing the combo. Okay. Uh, heal for seven from Dust Phoenix. We'll oh, sorry, what seven. health were you? Okay, what top are you on? Should have been on 13, I'm down right. to 20 now. <clears throat> and I'll draw one. Okay. Rotate your cannon as well. Yeah. <clears throat> Tough. Should help, it's tough, just for fun. Just thinking... Okay. I will Magma Spitter to put us both on 14. And then I'll draw. Alright. Uh, telling now it's not looking too good for me. I need to draw for two. Okay. Yeah. Kind of rotates to deal eight. Eight damage puts me on two six. I believe. Yep. Yep. 
Yep, yep, that's what I've got. Yep. Um, I will play Rock Rager for three damage. Yep. And then I'll play Sneaky Creeble for four damage. Nice, there you go. Right. Ah! So that's game one to me. Good game it was. After all the games we had yesterday where, like, every... Like, no, inside inside baseball, we were at the Roger Regionals yesterday. And every game we played, I managed to get my uh, blacksmithing to turn one or turn two. This Did is true. Did this game? I was a bit like, ah, crap. But, uh, all good. There we go. <coughs> well. I, felt, I felt a bit closer, even though I know it wasn't. But the early game wasn't, like, me down here and you up here still. So that was nice. No, yeah, some some of the games yesterday, I was sort of around 30 when you died, wasn't I? Mm-hmm. Particularly that uh, nature game we'd played later, that was uh, intense. <laughs> I mean, long and winded, but... At, at least an hour. Yeah. As nature games do tend to be. Aye. Until next set, question mark. Uh, I'll go second this time. Okay. You are on 29. Yes, I, I am, am on 31. Sure. I'll go 1, 2, 3, 4. I like your health, so I'll join you there for 2. Mm hmm. And I'll put down a prism cannon. Okay. First of all, I'll play Spectral Guide. Uh, let's me draw a card when it enters play. Um, then I will draw an additional card. Don't know if you're aware or if you can do anything about it, but because of your sleeves, it is impossible to see what any of your cards are doing. Oh. Because of the glare. That's better, there we go. Is. Sorry, it's a window. Uh, so the cannon rotates. I'll go down to 27. And I'll gently tap you with a flame bat for five. Uh, I'll use Spectral Guide's effect to draw two cards. Uh, play a Tentasium Blacksmith. Finally makes an appearance. How you doing, friend? Do a bit more my sleepy crap stuff. Nice. It grants me my action back. Chim Chim Militant as well for 5 damage to you. Okay. That's your go. Start by rotating my cannon. I'll do a for 2. Now, let's force that buff removal. Let's put a Colossi Ritual site down. Okay. Alright, let's have a Dusk Feeder to heal me for 7, because my last discard is Solar. Put it on 31. Bard, so that your buffs are done. Good play, good play.
Good play. Um, so my buffs don't rotate for being dormant. That's correct. But nevertheless, I can still pay a Magma Spitter and a Magma Spitter to play Inferno for 10 damage. Sure thing. That way, put that there, take 10 off you, and draw off the combo. Okay. More <coughs> for effects. Um, first and foremost, I use Spectral Guide's effect to allow me to draw another two cards and force it to expire. Alright. Then I'll play. Uh, you can't attack Titian. Uh, heals me for four. Because the last discard is Gravity, I get an additional action. And I will play my Pathfinder to remove both of your buffs. Excellent. And that's uh, Yorga. So I'm going to Dolo for two. And then draw one. Okay. Mario Bard ticks away, unfortunately. Um, I will draw two. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to Crystal Bat for 1, 2, 3 damage and 1, 2, 3 healing for me. And I will follow that up with a Rock Rager, which is 3 damage plus another 3 because I've been healed. on the final corner and I'll draw one okay Just thinking here. It's alright. I'm gonna just. No, I'll dolo for two. And then I'll just draw another. Okay. Let's try rotates. Uh... Okay. I'm going to draw forward two. Okay.
I'm going to pay Prism Cannon, which is Crystal, Magma Spitter, which is Fire, and Boulder Feast, which is Earth, to play Crushing Blow mm -hmm. for 9 damage and removing your item. That's fine. 9, yep. Yep. Use discarded. Yep. And draw the one for playing the combo. That's fine. Okay. Next one rotates. Um. Okay. I'm gonna play a uh, Tantasian Blacksmith, bringing into play my Fly Nomo. Mm -hmm. um, I still have two actions left. Then I will play a Subjugator, so you can't target me for attacks. Um, rather, you just can't attack, excuse me. And uh, I will draw a card, will I? No, I'll use Fly Nomo's ability, because uh, I brought it into play, I didn't play it this turn, I still can. Which heals me for one, um, and then grant me my action back. Um, and then I will draw a card for that last action. Okay. I'll dolo for two. And then draw another. Okay. Uh, this rotates and this rotates, so I draw four cards. Yep. Four, right. Okay. Then use my uh, Chimchu Militant for <coughs> five damage against you. Yep. And <coughs> draw a card. I will Boulder Feast for 6 healing. Yep. And then I will draw a card. Okay. These both expire. Okay. I'm going to play a Tidal Shift. Aim for it with Sky Observatory for a Luna and Mirror Beast for a Solar. Mm -hmm. It heals me for 6, it's a 14, uh, and I get to draw two cards from its effect. Shuffle these in. And because I've played a combo, I get to draw a card as well. Yep. There we go. That's uh, your turn. Okay, I'm going to be paying one earth, one flame, or fire, and two crystal mm -hmm. to play Wrath of the Mountain for 12 damage. Yep. Putting you on two. And you move two action cards from your hand to your deck. Okay. I will draw up. Hmm. OK. 
become a tactician. And a Pathfinder. And I will draw for playing the combo. So, um, gonna play a Chimchu Infiltrator. Yep. Uh, dealing three damage to you. Uh, my last discard is a Luna, so I get to get an action card that was discarded back to my hand. Mm -hmm. So I pick Sleepy Crab Staff. Then I'll play Kana Tactician to heal me for four. And grant me an additional action because my last discard was Gravity. Uh, I'll use a uh, Flynamo to heal me for one because I'm under 20 health and it grants me my action back. And I will play my Sleepy Crab stuff. Okay. I will Flame Bite you for five. That doesn't sound good. Put you on two. And then I will Sneaky Creeple you for four. You like ending with that sneaky creeple? I like flame batting and sneaky creepling, mate. Sneaky, <laughs> sneaky no, creeple. The past two days against you, sneaky creeple has put in a lot of killing Des blows. Despite the fact I have no damage reduction, yeah, it just closes the game for you. It's because he's um, he's damage that isn't flame, and I'm not fire superior, so it's yeah, uh, yeah, so it really is quite useful. Mm. That's two for two. Uh, do you want to play the third one just to see? We can do. Uh, yeah, let's do it. We accounted for three games, so let's do the third yeah, game. Yeah, I'm trying to think if I could have played that differently, and it's just not popping into my mind. There, there was a bit that I needed, and I felt quite confident, but uh, yeah, it didn't last very long, so, you know, that's fine. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm sure that that deck has got more to offer than it's um, shown us in those last two games, just from experience it, yesterday. It definitely does, yeah. Because um, the thing is, like, even in the games we've played with this, I don't think you've ever actually seen what the, I suppose, high burst combo is. Um, it's just been awkward to get stuff out. I needed the blacksmiths a lot earlier, which is fine. Uh, it's part of the course. Like I said, I do, I do think Mountain is the hardest matchup, and I won't say that just to try and save face on a video. I think it's, uh, like, genuine with my friends that I play with as well, just, like, casually. They are... Uh, Mountain decks always do a lot more work than anything else, and it's just like, ah, oh. combo machines is the word. Mm hmm, indeed. Give this a uh, proper shuffle as well, very quickly. Sorry, I had like most of my uh, discard and hand together, so they'll be playing in like sequences of uh, things that make sense to me or things that help, so I probably should give it a thorough shuffle. <coughs> Fair enough. I'll do a few more refilling emergy things. Yeah, yeah, I'm all good there anyway. Okay. Do you want to go first or second? Um, have I gone first twice? Uh, once. Uh, I'll go. Oh, you choose. You choose. You choose. I'll go second again then. Okay. That'll work better for me, I think. One, two, three, four. Excuse me, I picked up six cards by accident. Just put that to the bottom and forget it was over there. <clears throat> As per usual. Mm -hmm. Go for Standard two. Standard down the first turn. Yep. Yeah. We'll put down a little rickety mine. Okay. <clears throat> right. Blacksmith. Now it's looking better. Right. Uh, where is it? Sleepy crap stuff. Hello, friend. Bringing out that Mari Bard potential. 
there. It's real. All right. All right. action back. Thank you, Mr. Blacksmith. All right. That goes there. Then I will play a spectral guide. Uh, let me draw a card when it enters play. And <clears throat> I'll draw another card. Thank you, Jake. Rickety Mine rotates. That is two healing for me. Which you're just going to dolo for anyway, probably. You know what? I've never considered that before, but now that you mentioned it, I think I'll probably wow. do that. The yeah. option that you didn't know was there. Yeah, well, I, I never even looked at his ability before, you know. Um, and I'll follow that up with a cheeky little Rock Rager for three damage, increased by three because I've healed this turn. So let's have a uh, Spectral Guide's effect to draw two cards. Uh, a Tentazian Blacksmith. Coming out in force. Mm -hmm. Showing up for me today, there we go. Still got one action left. And with the last action, I will play an Astronomer. Nice, nice, nice. Rickety Mine's going to rotate, healing me for two. But I'm not going to do that, because I'm just going to draw two cards instead, thanks to Mr. Dolo. Um... Gonna go and put down a mountain fort as my okay. second action. Okay. Let's rotate. Uh, I'll just use up the spectral guide with his last defendability to draw two cards. Then I will. Uh, you can't attack Titian for four healing and granting me an additional action. I will use. Pathfinder to remove two buffs. That's one of those gone. Just a sec. Uh, subsequently, I will um, use. Hello? Sorry, I think you might have cut out there. Yeah, I thought you did as well. Uh, I'm here. Oh. Subsequently, you will use... And then I changed my mind and drew a card. Okay. Phew, that was tense. I thought <laughs> it was... I, a, I thought it was a, a, no a, a, I thought it was a moment of intense thinking, but... Uh, <laughs> turns out it wasn't. I'm afraid not. Okay. I like that health you're on. I'll join mm -hmm. you there. Cool. One, two... More right, let's just throw down a prism cannon. Okay. This bad boy rotates. <coughs> that he does. You do. You do. I will use a uh, Veiler's ability to deal two damage to you because my last discard is gravity. And then I will draw a card. Okay. Prism cannon rotates. Not too keen on the idea of you drawing four cards, so I am going to just use a crystal leech here. Perfect.
And I will also go there. Sorry, 23 is the one that's right on the edge of my mouse mat, so it doesn't quite stay there, but it's 23. You've got, you've got it as well. It's fine. Uh, right. I'm just going to draw two, if you want to let me draw four. Okay. Rotate your prism cannon as well. Oh, prism cannon goes there. Let's get this ball rolling. I'm going to play... Or pay, rather. I'm going to pay Inferno, which is two fire, and Crystal Leech, which is one crystal, to play uh, Blazing Cauldron, which is ten damage, and you move two combos from your hand to your deck. And I draw for the combo. Yes, you do. Hmm. Okay. First and foremost, I'm going to use Fly Nemo, uh, so heal me for one. And I'm going to play a Subjugator, so you can't attack me. Wise. And I will also play a Chimchu Militant to deal 5 damage to you, bringing you down to me. And that's your go. Prism Cannon to the face. Mm -hmm. uh, that puts you on 10. Correct. If I'm correct, indeed. Um... Can't do much to you this turn, so I am going to play a Boulder Feast and I will dolo as well for an effective 1, 2, 3, 4 healing. Okay. Subjugator rotates. Uh, I'll take Fly Nomad's heal of 1 and draw 2 cards this turn. Okay. Prism Cannon's gone. A Colossi Ritual Site takes its place. Followed by a quick flick of the old Dolo ability. Subject get it goes away. I'll play my Chimchu Infiltrator for three damage to you. And because the last discard is Luna, I get to add a discarded action card back to my hand. Mm -hmm. She's my Yukana Tactician. Then I will play my Yukana Tactician, healing me for four. Uh, and that grants me an additional action. And I will play. Did I already fly them out? Uh, I think you may have done. Yeah, I can't remember if I've used an ability or not. Um, that's fine. Anyway, I'll play a Spectral Guide, which lets me draw one. Okay. So my Cossy Ritual site rotates. Yep. Let's see what I can do here. <clears throat> You thought you were safe, my friend, but alas, no, you are not. I'm going to pay a stream of Tantos Ooh. and a Crystal Bat to play down the awe-inspiring Wrath of the Mountain, increased by 3 for 15 damage. Awful. 
Right, okay. Damn it. That was a mighty blow to it the was. stars. Right, well, um, thanks for those games, Jack. That was pretty good fun. Yeah, good, game. Uh, good fun for me anyway, probably less so for you. That's nah, alright, um, I'm learning a lot, which is what I need to do, really. I need to uh, figure out where I need to be going. Yeah. Before we end the video, I think it's probably worth uh, just mentioning. Um, I think we're going to get quite a few people asking, what is your playmat and how do they get it? Um, and unfortunately, guys, it is a custom playmat that Jax had made for him. Uh, it's not one you can buy. Um, but it is very, very nice, um, and I think it's probably worth giving them a shout out. Um, Patriot Games is where you got that, Matt, isn't it, Jack? Yeah, basically, um, the artwork obviously is taken from from Vela, um, but the the card art obviously doesn't fill the entire map. Uh, my girlfriend Alice was kind enough to make this for me for Christmas, uh, and then we uh, paid for it to be printed by Patriot Games here in the UK, and they printed it on. Uh, it's like a proper polythene back in, like proper rubber you'd get from like a by like the plan that Hugh's got uh, with the art, or whatever you want on top. So, yeah, beautiful thing, absolutely love it. Yeah, it's uh, it is quite nice. Um, so yeah, thank you for playing. Um, too long didn't read Mountain Rules. Um, and I will see you all in the next few games. Uh, so thanks for watching, guys, and bye bye.